welcome back to my channel. I tell you, this week has been just a slog as far as working with my prosthetic hand. It, it seems like every time I turn around, I am breaking something. So I have definitely figured out the, uh, the lifespan of anything made out of PA-12. And it is, it is not what I thought it was going to be. You know, when I was originally looking at material usage and just kind of where I was going with this project, uh, you know, you look at the material specs for PA-12 and the nylon based, and, you know, it looks like it's going to be something that's, you know, you set it, forget it, you, you get this done, it's got enough resilience. And I don't know if it's the cold. I mean, it, it's not like super cold in the Pacific Northwest. I mean, you know, we're going to, we have days that are in like the 40s, but nothing that's like super crazy. But I tell you, last week, every time I was doing something, I was breaking, like, like there was one day um, I was picking something up and I broke, I broke three of the distals right off. Just, I had, I had distals. I pick something up, I don't have distals. So then I go and print them in PACF on my bamboo and everything looks great. I go through, I go and trim them, go make the pockets all fit, you know, sand them down, everything's great. And uh, what was it? I, I picked something up and then uh, well, I was tightening up the lathe. That's what I was doing. I was doing some... Uh, some thinning of some pipe wall on the lathe and all of a sudden I looked down and fingertips on the index middle are all doink. I'm like, what the hell? These are brand new. I mean, they they weren't even like two hours old and it was just boop, broke. So, uh, what was it? Friday, I actually spent the time, programmed it up, made distals on the fourth axis on the milling machine and really three of the four are great the the pinky ends up hanging a little bit so i need to go and you know hit it with a file and make it all better but uh yeah i mean for people that are are thinking that you know that this design is is you know, for people that are thinking that I'm gatekeeping this and going, oh, you know, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to run the project this way and that really in reality, people can just take their K1 or their bamboo and print out these parts and be able to save a bunch of money and all that. You know, you do that, you're going to be sorely, sorely, sorely disappointed. Um, you know, even, even the proximal one or proximal twos. You know, I've had a problem. I, I broke two of these so far, and, and once that happens, um, you know, you just have garbage on your residual limb. So, thankfully, happily, uh, PCB way, uh, about a month ago, two months ago, we started really talking. Uh, their ask is a lot better this time, and uh, I think I'm about probably five days, six days out now from when I should be getting my DHL package of all the 3D printed parts. I had them do from metacarpal bases forward. So uh, I didn't have them do the mounting rails or the distal links. I still think the distal links could probably be done on a printer, although I'm going to be doing them on the milling machine out of some uh, 454 brass or something self-lubricating. Uh, but, I mean, if it's something for, you know, looking forward in the project, you know, it, it's it's something that could probably totally be 3D printed if you if you got to go that direction. And then also I had them do the Gaffney and then the Gimbal 1 and 2. Super, super, super interested to see how this actually works and what they look like. Because where they aren't a billet machined aluminum, they're a powder aluminum, they aren't going to have exactly the same properties as like say uh, a 6061 T6 or a 7075 T6. Uh, and I'm hoping that when I go and I machine in the windows on the metacarpal bases that it isn't like gooey, uh, you know, because I mean that'll be, 
don't know, that'd be disappointing if it was just gooey. But we'll see. So just wanted to give you kind of an update, show you the process that I went through to make the distals. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching. You go to the best kitty? Osiris is dead.